children are also targets of the Israeli army's shooting sprees. This can only be described as a manifestation of state terrorism and ethnic cleansing. My delegation uh, do condemn uh, the acts perpetrated by the Zionist uh, terrorist uh, uh, entity. Uh, the right to religion is facing the worst form of violation known by mankind. Uh, people are not allowed to pray in the Aqsa Mosque. Uh, they are beaten and prevented uh, from reaching there. The genocide policy that Israel applies against the Palestinian people. I now give the floor to the United Nations Watch. Thank you, Madam President. Today and this week, this council is saturating the media with a plethora of reports on alleged Israeli sins. We're given the flotilla report, the Gorston follow-up, and more. Lost in this blitz, however, are 10 basic facts. The flotilla probe was created in a June 2nd resolution sponsored by the Council's Islamic and Arab states. The outcome was predetermined. Israel was condemned, quote, in the strongest terms, as guilty of committing a, quote, outrageous attack. No mention was made on the flotilla's organizers' jihadi intentions and actions. Supporters of the one-sided mandate, including countries like Sudan, China, Pakistan, Cuba, Saudi Arabia, and Russia. The greatest support of the inquiry was the terrorist group Hamas. As this castle convened, Hamas Politburo chief Khalid Masal issued his request, quote, we need a new Goldstone report which will condemn Israel. Now that the report is out, Hamas has been among the first to praise it. The Palestinian Authority itself opposed the probe. According to a news article on the Electronic Intifada website, dating June 22nd, the P actively sought to frustrate creation of the inquiry, understanding would only strengthen the Hamas terrorists. Likewise, the Goldstone Follow-up Committee was created on March 25 by one-sided resolution that attacked Israel but said nothing on Hamas terrorism. It was sponsored by the Arab and Islamic states. Seventeen refused to support the resolution, including countries like the United States, Britain, France, Belgium, Italy, and the Netherlands. Since the Council was created in 2006, out of the 40 resolutions criticizing countries, 33 were against Israel and seven for the rest of the world combined. Out of the 10 emergency debates that criticized countries, seven were against Israel. Today's meeting takes place under an agenda item that permanently singles out Israel for discriminatory treatment. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on 20 June 2007 criticized this item's bias. In May 2009, after the killings of some 20,000 civilians in Sri Lanka, this council praised the government for, quote, the promotion and protection of human rights. In this session, there is not a single resolution on any of the world's wars of our to human rights. Iran, Saudi Arabia, DPRK, Zimbabwe all enjoy impunity. Thank you, Madam President. Let me just remind everyone that we are presently considering item 7, human rights situation in the Palestinian and other occupied Arab territories.